it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Bliss Pop ROM for Galaxy S3. Now this is the version 1.7 which is the latest right now. Uh, Bliss Pop ROM is mainly available for the uh, OnePlus One or the Oppo and a few other devices like the G3 and stuff like that. It isn't officially available for Galaxy S3 but I was able to find this one from a Chinese site. Uh, yeah, I will link it to the in the description. So yeah, that is it. Uh, now this is actually was based on the Android 5.0 version so you are going to get Lollipop with it so that is really cool. Now right now as of right now I, look i have been using resurrection remix as my daily driver lollipop rom for quite a while now and i really like all the features in it uh but this one has a lot more than that one so that is really cool the i think the only thing which it's it's missing from the latest cyanogen mod sources is the um theme engine which uh, i don't think is in here so that is pretty neat and pretty cool so let's see uh, this is a lock screen which is pretty neat you can go there um, now I did get this from a Chinese uh, uh, Chinese site so this is going to have a lot of uh, Chinese apps also you can see this is the Baidu search bar so you can see the do there so yeah it is Chinese and stuff like that it also has the default language as Chinese you just have to um, select your language to English it is multi-language it does support every language known to well at least available in Android in default phone so it's all available there so that's really cool let's go to the settings now uh, in the settings menu you can see in the about phone this yeah that this does use the uh, dark menu which I really like in the resurrection remix ROM so that's a plus I guess in the about phone page you can see it is bliss pop so you can have extra information which is pretty neat. You can have all the information which you would ever need to really uh, distinguish your phone or anything to do anything basically. So that is really cool. You can see change log and uh, see what is different. So you can see in the this is 1.7 which is right now. This is what will be implemented in 1.8. Uh, I'm not really sure if you can see that but hey that's available. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah. Now what else do we have now? Uh, you can see this Bliss Pop is version uh, 1.7 so it will say Cyanogen Mod because it is based on Cyanogen Mod and it will have a different version of the Flappy Droid with the Flappy Cyanogen Bot so you can play that even. Wow that's pretty neat I didn't really make it that far so you can have that um what else does this have now the build date is in chinese because you know, it is made by a chinese developer it's an official this is the um kernel version which this is the website from which i got this rom you can visit that also i will be providing a link in the description so yeah that's pretty cool what else do we have now um in the Settings stuff. Okay, this is the major part of this ROM. It has a lot of settings now in the personalization interface settings You can see already this is kind of I, I kind of have the feeling of having a KitKat fully featured ROM with the lollipop because lollipop ROMs till now hasn't been really feature rich uh, It's kind of trying to get it to work rather than cramping all the available features into it So that's really cool this does have a lot of features and the status bar options you can see the basic stuff like clock date all of that use second clock you can have seconds also here so you can see that is enabled now so you can have that font again something which I really appreciate I really like the condensed uh, font I have I can have it uh, in center in pretty much anywhere so that's really cool uh, centered uh, with small am and small date with something which I, I really use battery options similar to what we have in the other rounds you can you have all of these available options so that's really cool uh, mobile Wi-Fi and network icon now this is something which is new you can actually show network available network options here it will be showing if I am connected to network I'm not uh, also it can ch you can change the color of the network indicators now uh, it also has two options like normal like it will show normal 
I mean, it's not connected fully, then it will show that color. If it's connected fully, fully connected, it will show to this color. So you can actually distinguish between um, the connected and non-connected stuff. So that's really cool. So you can have that. Status bar header. Now you can actually show status bar header. You can show locations, which is available in other ROMs also. It's nothing special, but it's nothing new. But you can actually change the uh, color of the text and icon. So that's really neat. So you can have uh, the ROM to be colorful if you need or the black and white stuff which well black and green stuff which uh, lollipop actually pushes onto you so that you can have that also notification and system icons so all of these are available you can get colorized notification icons you can notification ticker uh, you can choose the color for all of them so that is pretty much awesome I mean I haven't really gotten any ROM which I can use like these many options on it so that's really cool and I really like that one you can have network settings, network traffic you can enable that here and uh, it will be shown if I'm connected to the network I'm not so that's the problem now uh, brightness control is really cool you can actually have brightness control with the slide of the option with the slide of the status bar but I have uh, this one to the minimum right now because I want to make the video of it yeah super user indicator so it will show a hash sign here if super user is being used in the background so that's really cool status bar carrier you can have a carrier option here you can enable the carrier or you can have custom label so that's also available so yeah i'll be typing this and see if it's available so yeah that's that also works you can also select the color for it what else do we have now recent options you do have recent options here so you have clear all tweaks so it does have clear all button Furthermore, you can actually select where the clear wall button is. This is, I think, introduced in Resurrection Remix ROMs, and I really like that one. Now, I actually use bottom right because I am a right-handed person, and I really like this one. And this is also the materialized uh, icon here, so that's pretty neat. It does work out neatly. So, yeah. It also has Omni Switch if you... Uh, use omni switch if you had used omni switch recent uh, previously and you like omni switch you may have a better chance with this one so yeah it's pretty cool you do have a toggle for status bar in uh, search bar in recent menu so that's available also notification drawer settings now this is fully featured you can actually change uh, the tile order you do have a few options here already now this is the full featured one i would like to warn you guys that if you delete or any of these you cannot get it back I think that is a bug right now because it will show there are many any more tiles to add so yeah if you delete any of these you cannot add it back you can rearrange that and it does work out pretty neatly but uh, deleting and re-adding that is not something I will recommend right now so in this one you do have two main types okay you know you can enable main quick settings right now the main quick settings are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth you can actually disable that and have kind of the older styled uh, stuff like three many three buttons in one row so that is really cool you can opt out of the uh, initial version like two on the top you can have that if that's jarring for you vibrate on touch uh, advanced location quick setting now the quick setting here uh, for location just uh, turns it off right if you enable this one I'll go back to the menu now okay if you enable advanced location quick setting actually uh, clicking the quick setting will give you option for the mode of location you want that is really cool uh, and also you can disable that altogether if you do that uh, it's kind of like the um, cellular data uh, tile which is in the status bar which is really cool I really like that one also now show status bar uh, slider if you use this uh, method for changing your brightness you can actually disable the status bar uh, slider if you don't use that if you don't like that I personally don't use that so I'll be keeping that uh, disabled now quick pull down and small pull down is always there it was available from all the other ROMs also so it's not different in any way power menu you have a lot of options in power menu also you can enable all of this stuff and the power menu will be humongous so yeah you have all of these options screen record power of reboot basic uh, stat, uh, screenshot profiles airplane mode settings even settings you can access settings from the power button so that is really neat and cool buttons you have all the functions which are available in the other ROMs you can actually disable the overflow button which is the three dot button which is available in different uh, apps uh, as part of the um, 
well the other phones don't have a menu button so you can actually disable that because i really don't like that so yeah you have to restart the apps if you're using something which with that so yeah pretty cool now wake up the device with home button and answer call with the home button it does work really really good so yeah i really like that all of these options available pie control this is slim pie it makes a comeback we do have uh pie controls available so if you are used to using uh pie uh slim pie so th it, th it does work out really neatly i actually like it a lot uh i don't use it but it's there screen border is the trigger option so i will show you guys this is the pie option so it was work out neatly so yeah you do have gesture anywhere which is one of my favorite options in any rom you can challenge me on that because this does enable you to use any of your apps from anywhere uh if even if you don't really want that i mean yeah that's pretty cool you can just click there and you have to add your gestures you can add something like c which i use for camera uh let's see okay camera option i'll add c and done i'll i and now if in any screen i'll just show you that any screen i will just put c and it will open up my camera so that is really cool and i really really appreciate that now uh we are in camera options right so i will show you guys that this is using the um camera from uh, moto so motorola camera uh, setting so it is pretty neat i mean it does have a lot of options and all uh it does work out neatly so yeah nothing special but it's there it does have the aokp animations you can change everything it does have a list view animation scrolling cache you can also assign cache uh scrolling modifiers to pretty much control everything i mean you can have a lot of stuff with this i mean those who are who know about these options is going to use this and does know and does does not require any introduction for that but those who don't know about this are probably not going to use it that's why i'm not really going too deep into that so yeah app circle bar makes a return you do have app circle bar like uh this one you can actually enable those all of these you can select included apps also so it does work out neatly for quick settings but guess you anywhere just beats anything else so that's pretty cool it also has device control i mean they couldn't have put anything more into this rom i mean yeah it has everything which every other rom has and everything into this one rom so that's really cool all of these settings are available extras entropy stuff entropy systems you can select everything i mean yeah it has the whole kitchen sink in it so that is with the interface settings and last but not the least you have place download you can actually go to their website and see what all the official versions are but on an s3 you won't really have a lot of options available so yeah i would just give this a pass that is it in the personalization interface settings that is the main setting page uh which differentiates this of course you do have audio fx access so you can actually change all of these you can have usb settings you can change everything here you can enable that and change everything it is an equalizer it does work out it's really neat um display options it does form a lot of stuff this is sound and notification which is similar to everything else doesn't really have a lot of extra options but yeah you can see all of these are available so the snooze timer is there which may be good for a lot of sleepy heads so yeah display options again a lot of stuff it does have the fun size which i really like uh it does have the ambient display timeout which i didn't really see in any other rom which i really appreciate because yeah ambient display can turn up and just go away or just turn up and be there forever so you can actually use a timeout for that pretty cool wake up on charge accidental wake up prevent accidental wake up using the proximity sensor now this is really cool again now display density you can change the display density but you can also have the reported density to normal so that you won't have any issue with the google play store not giving you your apps so that is really really cool so that's there disable immersive mode messages screen recorder settings you can all have all of these stuff adaptive brightness that's something which you can use pretty neatly rest everything is similar to what you would like in any other rom so all in all this is a really feature rich rom that's something you can't say about a lot of lollipop roms out there because uh, lollipop roms are 
mainly trying to get the stuff working on our device rather than having all the features and all the kitchen sink into this device so yeah pretty sorry guys i had to take a small break um so yeah i'm back and uh i was going to show you guys the end to the benchmarks course so here it is it is 26 um uh, whatever so yeah it's pretty cool i mean 26 268 it's not the most it's not the highest level you can attain on this rom but yeah it's pretty cool if you install a um, custom kernel like the boeifla kernel or even the artes 97's kernel and overclock it a bit to about 1500 you can probably get about 30,000 so that is pretty neat so yeah um let me show you guys the boot animation which i guess i haven't shown you guys so guys here is the boot animation which is pretty awesome it's pretty neat and it does its job i guess so yeah it labels its rom as bliss pop pretty neat minimalistic flat awesome so yeah i guess that is pretty much it about this rom um i would really like for this to have a forum on the xga developers because it doesn't have it right now it is chinese based and it has a lot of chinese blockware right now and yeah i guess that's something which uh, is there so yeah what else does this have now um as you can see it does have a lot of chinese blockware like chinese keyboard baidu app search and stuff like that uh, which i personally i'm not going to use because i don't really understand the language and stuff so yeah uh, it is there so you may have to read them by yourself if you really don't need them so yeah Apart from that, this is a pretty awesome ROM. Right now, it is my preferred ROM for anything going with this. So that's really cool. So yeah, I hope that is it. Um, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.